Good morning, friends. I'll be doing the introduction to this video inside because, as you can see, it's a cold and windy day here in Quartzsite, Arizona. We had a wonderful Christmas with friends. Uh, the Christmas present that Lynn and I got was that we hit our goal. We had a goal to hit 15,000 subscribers by Christmas and about 11 o'clock at night on Christmas Day we hit our 15,000. So thank you to all you new subscribers. If you haven't watched a lot of my videos, um, a lot of them are about our retired life in Mexico and uh, we love answering questions about how that works or uh, is it safe or is it not safe or can you buy property or can you not buy property can you own property? How much is health care? How much is the cost of living? What does food cost? Are the restaurants any good? And the questions go on and on, and I've answered most of them in videos in the past, and I am so happy to have those kinds of questions to answer in my videos, so leave them in the comments if you've got questions about living and retiring in Mexico. I always say I started this channel because I have stories to tell, and the name of the channel, of course, JC Travel Stories. Uh, I just wanted it to be JC Stories, but I think that was taken or something, so it's JC Travel Stories, but it isn't always about traveling. Mostly it's just about Lynn and I and letting you peek in on our life. I say to people I started the channel because I ran out of audience. All of my friends and relatives have heard all of my stories so many times that they either get bored or they start correcting me, which is actually kind of fun sometimes. And if you watch some of my videos from the past, you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, Lynn and I enjoy having you peek in on our lives. That's really what the channel is about in the end. And um, we enjoy uh, good health, despite those reminders of what age bracket we're in. Uh, we have good friends, whether we're at home in Mexico or on the road like we are now with uh, uh, friends that we know in the travel and um, uh, RV lifestyle. Um, we have uh, beautiful places to go and to visit, and we live in a beautiful place in Mexico, and of course when we're traveling we get to see beautiful things. And um, we have toys. <laughs> and I think I listed those in the order of what we would consider important in life. Health, friends, beauty. What was the fourth one? <laughs> what was the fourth one, Lynn? I See, she didn't listen to me either. That's why I need a new audience. <laughs> Whatever it was, <laughs> you remember what it was. I don't. Uh, 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 oh, toys. <laughs> because it's the least important. That's why I would forget it. Toys. Toys, uh, toys are fun, but they're not important. Well, I didn't get a video made yesterday because I was busy. I spent the morning working on my generator. It's an Onan 7500-watt quiet diesel. And there are some wires in there that come off of the control board every once in a while. Um, I learned this by paying a guy $90 an hour to uh, fix it once. And fortunately, he let me look over his shoulder. So now I guess I'm a Cummins Onan expert. <laughs> yeah, right. Anyway, I spent the morning doing that, and then the afternoon I spent with friends. I took Dan to the chiropractor, and he's all better. That's good news. And uh, in the afternoon, um, we went with Carolyn to look at a couple of uh, trailers. And I'll let her tell you the news about that. Anyway, this video is just about me cleaning out the memory in my iPad because it's getting full of little clips that um, I need to get out of there so to make room for more uh, lengthy and comprehensive videos. So this one's just going to be the cleaning out the iPad video that I do occasionally. What? 
What's what's so funny over here? Huh? My pickle. Your pickle? Let me see the pickle. Hold it up. Hold it up from the other end. <laughs> what's so funny about that? Huh? Nothing. You're, you're, you're expecting a bigger one? What's the deal? I don't know. What's going on with her? You become one. <laughs> Merry oh, Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> now let me eat my sandwich. <laughs> Put that away. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Well, you might recognize a few of the vehicles in this shot. There's a couple of YouTubers here and there. So, do any of Santa's helpers know how to fix the knife valve on my black tank? Do what? Sorry, I have complete <laughs> ignorance. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Lucky you. So, what I'm going to say when I do the voiceover, though, is I have a question for you. You have a little garden going there. Yep. Is it organic if you water it with beer? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't watered it. Ever. <laughs> As you know, the government is shut down, and this is what the garbage looks like here at La Posa South because it hasn't been emptied for days. So if I'm telling stories about uh, the cats we've had, do you have any stories about some cat in particular named Nikki? Nikki. <laughs> we had um, two black cats that were pretty much raised together. Kaifus uh, was the smart one, and Nikki was, well, kind of a dim bulb. And uh, Nikki used to get into my brother's stereo equipment, the wires mostly, and the television wires, all the wires that are always sticking out from machinery, and my brother just couldn't stand it when Nikki would get back there and be pulling and tugging on strings and stuff, and he'd take Nikki out, out away from the wires and he'd stand him in the corner and say, now you're going to sit there and don't you look around for five minutes and that poor cat had no clue. His face in the corner? He's, he has his nose right in the corner and Rick's holding his head you know just like this so he can't turn it and that cat is determined he's going to turn his head he's going to get out of the corner but for it, it just, and I was just cr absolutely cracking up but I couldn't let him see that or I'd be in another corner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know I haven't shaved today. Uh, but I have a story about Nikki too. Nikki, uh, Nikki was a clumsy cat. He wasn't anything like cat-like. He would walk across the carpeting and we had another rug on top of the carpeting. He would trip on the rug and fall on his chin. Uh, one day, and we've got floor-to-ceiling windows um, from the living room out into the backyard, and one day I noticed that uh, Nicky is sneaking on a butterfly like cats sneak. So he's sneaking, 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 and he's about, I don't know, three foot from the butterfly who's sitting on the grass flapping its wings, and I smack the window. Nicky jumps straight up in the air about three feet, does a flip and comes down. Cats always land on their feet, right? Nope, not Nicky. Landed <laughs> flat on his back. <laughs> Come to think of it, Nicky's the one who used to get on the roof every night. That's right. Uh, outside the, the part of the house, there was a, a chimney. We had a fireplace, and the chimney kind of had like stair steps of bricks going up the side so he could jump up about maybe four or five feet and then take stair steps and get to the roof and every night not 
This didn't happen once. This didn't happen twice. This happened nearly every night. Nicky would go up on the roof and he couldn't get down. So he'd be over by the sliding glass doors at the patio. Mew, mew. He couldn't get down off the roof. And we're in bed. Yeah. We're in bed. Yeah, and we're like in bed. We weren't married. Should we say that? <laughs> so I always left a ladder up against the eave of the house so that I could go and get Nikki. And um, Nikki never learned how to use the ladder by himself either. Sometimes I'd have to get up after we went to bed and go get Nikki off the roof. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Why do we like the sunsets in Arizona? This is why. like me give me one of those thumbs up and please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next please share me with your friends on social media thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today <laughs>